Hello, my name is Vlad and I'm here on behalf of ITSystem.org to show you how to host your own website on the Linux operating system. Here I'm using Ubuntu, so the default command to install the web server would be sudo apt-get install apache2, which I have already done. To check if your web server is up and running, you can use the following netstat command and grab for apache. As we can see, the web server is listening on the 80 port, the default HTTP port, and that it has the following PID. Now, let's say that we want to host the itassistant.org website. First, we have to go to the Apache 2 sites available folder. As we can see, Apache already has a default example website for us. We will just take that file, copy it and rename it to itassistant.org for consistency. Now let's edit our newly created website. As we can see, Apache is very generous with configuration options, but for a very basic website hosting, we only need to specify the document root and the server name. So I'll just delete everything else for now. The server admin webmail with me webmaster at itassistant.org. The server name would be itassistant.org and the document root will be let's just say an IT assistant folder. We'll save our configurations and enable our website in the Apache 2 configuration with the sudo apache2 enable site itassistant.org. As you can see we have to reload the Apache configuration with sudo As we can see from the following error, the document root for the website does not exist. So, we'll just create it. And also create, sorry, and also create an index file for our website. Let's say itassistant.org is now online. The last thing we need to do is create a DNS entry that will point to our newly created web server. To emulate this, we can just create uh, we can just edit the host file and add an entry where itssn.org points to our loopback interface IP. Now everything is set up and if we open a Mozilla browser and go to itassistant.org we will be served our uh, index file that we just made in fr slash www itassistant index. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have a nice day.